everyone welcome back to my channel I know it's been a long 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 time but there's just been a lot going on in my personal life that I've needed to um, really just devote my time and attention to my family um, additionally my husband and I were trying to buy a house um, and we just haven't found the right thing so we're kind of putting that on hold um, until after the next school year for the kids so I've had a little bit more time just recently to get back into coloring, yay. Um, very excited because I missed it very much. I missed all of you guys. I missed the community. I've been kind of lurking around in the background catching some of Dee Dee's videos, some of Sammy's videos, um, but I just haven't been able to participate because I've been so super busy. Um, and I've just, like I said, I've just had my time and my focus elsewhere where it needed to be. But I wanted to pop in and do a video uh, because I have had more time and just let you guys know I'm still here. I'm still coloring when I can and I hope to get back into the swing of things. You know, I would like to say now, but the summer's been kind of crazy. I've been working for my husband on the weekends too on top of my job. So realistically, I'll probably be posting regularly again come the fall when his season slows down and things kind of settle more into you know a, a routine with the kids back in school and so I might post sporadically over the summer um the next couple of months and with the goal to just get back into it regularly um but for now I'll show you guys what I'm working on I finally bought Serene and I've been wanting it forever and I finally just bit the bullet and bought it and this is actually what I'm working on right now which I'll get into in a minute but I just want to show you guys what I did to Serene I butchered it <laughs> um, I've been wanting this book forever so I finally just said you know what I'm just gonna get it and this is really what got me going okay I'm gonna color again I'm gonna make the time and color again so what I did is I brought it to work and I opened it up and I cut all the pages out because <laughs> it's just way easier for me. I apologize if my phone's shaking. I'm on my little, my shoddy stack of uh, cardboard boxes on a 12 inch ruler over here. But I, um, I cut all the pieces out using a ruler and a box cutter. So that way I got a nice clean edge. And for me, it's just easier to work on them this way. So that's why I did that. Um, and so what I'm doing is when I'm working on it, um, I keep all the pages inside the book. Sorry, I know it's a little crazy. But I keep all my pages in there. And I've got these two binder clips that I use to clip it all together. But I also have, let's see if I can find it. Oh, here. Is this the page I'm using? Sorry guys. So this is like the cover page. I've been just using the back side of it for color testing. So what I do is I put this on the back side. I put what I'm working on on the front side. And I just clip it all together. And I kind of been moving the clips from the bottom to the top depending on what section I'm working on and right now I've been working on the top up here so I've been putting my binder clips on on the bottom of the book um, so this is what I'm working on um, this one just really spoke to me I really liked this page so what I did is I actually colored the whole well everything that's colored I colored all of it with Crayola Super Tips first, and I, you know, I just picked about five colors, I want to say five or six colors. Um, I don't know which ones exactly now, because I, I put them all away when I was done, but I, you know, I did a red, a light blue, a dark blue, uh, a tan, and then a yellow color, and then the gold that you see, I used my Clearo paints. Actually, I use this one here. That's gold. So, I went and basically colored in everything like with a base coat, so to speak, in the Crayola Super Tip. And then I'm going over it 
and with pencils. Well, pencils and gel pen, and so this is what I have. This is like, you like this little pouch? Isn't this cute? A friend of mine at work gave that to me. She's like, oh, I don't know. I got it with a purse, but I don't use it. And I said, that'll be perfect for my pencils. So <clears throat> I've been using, I love these, um, the Sakura Micron pens. I love these. I use these for zentangling as well. But um, I just love these. I use them for everything. Doodling, drawing, zentangling. I just love them. So I've been using on top of... Here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit on a section that's kind of finished. Let me zoom in a little bit here for you guys. So over here, remove my clip. What are you guys going to see? Um, so I, on the light blue sections, I've been using this true blue. Copenhagen blue. These are my Prismacolor pencils. And then I highlight with a white. So see how there's some like some sections that have highlights. So that's what I've been doing over the light blue marker. The red marker, I actually already did all of them and I just used, where is it? I used um, Tuscan red. I don't know if you can see me. Tuscan red and black. Pretty much that's what I used for the red. And then on the yellow, I've been using Pale Vermilion and Carmine Red. And that's been giving it like this really pretty um, like sunset kind of look. Then on the tan, hold on, I have to make sure I get these right. On the tan marker, I've been using light umber and dark brown and that gives this i love this section right here it's so cool came out so awesome um and then on then i took this out but i'm not using it i took that out for the yellow but you can't even see it over the yellow marker then over the gold calero paint to darken that up and make it kind of um rusticy looking in places i'm actually using my metallic gold prismacolor pencil and then the sepia and that that just gives it like this tarnished dark kind of vintagey look that I really like and I was surprised at how well that's coming out I have my white gel pen which I haven't used yet but I'm probably going to use to go in and brighten up some of these dots and maybe add some additional highlights beyond the white pencil and then I've also been using I love this pen I bought a um it's a manga set by Sakura for drawing manga. And it came with a bunch of different sizes of the microns. It came with this, actually I don't know if it was this white gel pen specifically, but it was a white jelly roll. And then it came with this Pigma FB and it's like a, I'm just going to show you guys. It's like a brush tip. I love this thing. I've been using it for all these like orbs in here. I love this pen. Like I might have to get a package of just these just to have a bunch of them because I love it. It's awesome. Okay, I'm going to zoom us back out because I have more to share. So that's what's going on. So I'm actually doing this page for um, Sammy's hashtag um, Kirby versus Nick. So I'm hoping to get it finished soon so that way you can so that way I can hashtag it in. But um I just you know I only get a couple minutes here and there in between the busy life. But we'll see. I'm gonna try and put some concentrated effort in this week. I am technically not in work, but at the same time my boss did give me permission to work from home a little bit, so I'm I'm definitely gonna try and squeeze some of that in. So I'm not gonna have quite as much free time as I thought. So some other things I've been working on besides coloring, shock, gasp, I know, um, is I've been doodling around a lot in my sketchbook. And I started this sketchbook um, as like, I was kind of going for like an old school 
Hollywood movie type of magic book, like spell book. Um, because me and my sister-in-law were making spell books for Halloween decorations. And so we were just trying to think of like how cool would it be to make our own. So that's how this started. But then I just meandered into so many other things in it. Um, but I hand drew all this. Um, I've just done so much so it's really just become a art journal so to speak um this is when i started playing around with watercolors a little bit i don't know if you can see a little bit of zen tangling over here and these were just with crayola super tips talk about chakras and all kinds of cool stuff so a lot of this is all that spell book stuff before I um I made this for my daughter, Abigail. Uh, here we go. And then here's um a Zentangle page that's complete. This took me a couple months on and off, just a little bit at a time um, every night. But I did that. Um, I've done some verse mapping with my bible in here because a friend of mine suggested that to me and i found it was very beneficial and very just relaxing and meditative and it just gave me that much more insight into the word so that was fun so i'll probably continue that um and then this is the la latest this is the new zentangle project i was working on um i wanted to make a big zentangle pattern and then do small patterns within the big pattern so I did this pattern, I forget what it's called, <clears throat> but then it, I think Tripoli, uh, I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. But then I thought, oh, they kind of look like stones. So I, after I Zentangle in them, I've been watercolor, I've been watercolor painting them with these um, Derwin watercolors, 24 set. So. Around Christmas time, I think it was right after Christmas, I meant to buy the Derwin Intense pencils and I wasn't paying attention when I threw them in my Amazon cart and I bought these instead. And I was a little disappointed because I already have some watercolor pencils, but Derwin's a really good brand and the ones I have are like an off brand that I had got received as a gift. So I said, you know what, I'm going to keep them, I'm going to play around with them and I'm so glad I did because they're so pretty. So that's what I just started playing with them in here. Um, you know, doing these stones and then I'm using, um, gel pen to do like a little highlight and stuff on them. So this is fun because I can just go in here and spend a couple minutes and do one stone at a time and, you know, just kind of pick at it. Um, so that's it. And then I, what else do I have going on in here? Uh, actually I have some other stuff going on in here too. Oh, this was some fun zen tangling I did on brown paper that I just wanted to keep it in here. I, I'm gonna be doing collage type things in here too. So, you know, if there's something that I make that I wanna be in here, I just kinda of shove it in between the pages. Then I had started sticking down some with um like a glue stick. <laughs> Dee Dee Willingham inspired. <laughs> I just started sticking stuff in here with a, with a glue stick, stuff I really liked um, that I could later turn into a page. So I just started putting some stuff in there. Um, and I haven't done beyond putting some stuff down with the glue stick. I haven't really done too much more. And like here I put some notes to myself on what I would want to do with it. So a brown acrylic with orange and gold gel pen flowers and tangles. So there you go. So I already have a direction with this page. I just haven't actually done anything with it. The problem is, is I need to get some matte medium and I don't have any and I keep forgetting that I need it. So I just haven't gotten any further. So I glue stick the stuff in and that's about as far as it goes. I've got this and there you go. See, I have some more notes here. What I want to do. I loved this because this kind of reminded me like the way she's holding the apple reminded me of like Snow White. So I think I put, did I put that there? Uh, I don't know. But anyway, that's that's kind of what I think of when I see that. And then what's this? Oh, and this is a coloring page out of um, one of I I donated donated 
a lot of my coloring books that I don't color in as much to my um, my eldest son Michael he is a fantastic artist I know I've mentioned it like a gazillion times before on my channel but he's just so brilliant his stuff is so beautiful he has such a beautiful vision when it comes to art and so he loves the whole coloring thing painting but he'll color with me so I've given him a lot of my coloring books and he he just loves he'll sit down and color with me so and then I've also got which I plan on incorporating in is some pressed flowers and stuff from the beginning of the spring which I will probably eventually try to um try to glue in so that's kind of my current sketchbook slash art journal for lack of a better word and the reason why I'm showing you that is because I went on a small um Michael's shopping trip today only because I haven't been in so long and I haven't bought myself anything art related in so long and I said I'm not gonna buy a bunch of stuff and I'm not gonna spend a bunch of money um so I challenged myself I said okay I'm gonna go in and browse because it's fun and I'm not going to spend more than $10 on myself. That's what I said. Well, dun, 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 I get to the cash register and it was like 22 But with my members, it came, with my membership, it came down to like 20 Well, it still counts and I'm going to tell you why. About 10 of it was spent on my kids. <laughs> so I actually did only spend 10 on myself. So you like that? That's how I'm getting it around it. So I'm justifying my purchases. So anyway, so they had a big, um, I didn't know this when I went, until I went in, but they had a big clearance event going on. So I was actually find, able to find a few cute little things. Um, I got these pencil boxes because, um, well here, I'll show you. So when I'm working on a project and I don't want to put all the pencils and markers and stuff away that I'm working on, I put them, as I'm sure you've seen, in a red Solo cup. Um, well, I thought that these might be better because then I can take them with me too. And they're already in a travel case and they're safe and contained and when Miss Abigail decides to delve into my art cabinet, it's not as easy for her to just grab colored pencils and throw them wherever she wants, which happens quite often. She loves mummy's art stuff. So I got these, they were only a dollar, and they're just cute, and I figure, you know, you can just put some pencils in there. Um, so I got those two. I was so tempted to buy a bunch of them too, it was awful. Um, but I wanna see if I actually use them first. I got that for Abby, cause she is obsessed with Minnie Mouse. And she likes, and she'll color too. My kids are awesome. They'll color, they'll color with me. I'll put her in the high chair. She's got her big chunky crayons and she'll color because she sees mommy coloring and she wants to color too. And she loves Minnie Mouse. So these were both only a dollar at Michael. So I got those for her so she can color with me later. Then I got, this wasn't on sale, but I've been wanting it for a long time, is the Creative Haven Dream Horses. These, um, these types of coloring books can be, as you can see, they're very detailed here. You know what? We'll do a quick flip through. Why not? They can be very detailed, so it's not, it's kind of more fun to just color them in as is with like markers or something and not necessarily go crazy with shading. I mean, you could, of course you could, but, um. But I just liked this one. I don't like all of the Creative Havens, but I really liked this one. I've always liked horses ever since I was a little girl. Look at this one. Isn't this so pretty? Let me just make sure you guys can see this. Yep, seeing you. <laughs> I'll start from the beginning. Um, but I just thought this book was so pretty. I watched the flip through a couple times. It's been in my Amazon cart. Um, and I, they finally had it at my Michaels. Every time I had gone, I looked and they didn't have it yet. And they had it. I said, okay, I have to get it. Not that I need any more coloring books, but I told my husband I wasn't going to buy any more coloring books. And I bought Serene. And I bought this. <clears throat> so pretty. I am so excited. And what I like about these, too... 
I don't know if you guys can see it on video, but the pages are perforated, which I love because honestly, other than my hard copy um, coloring books um, like Hannah Carlson and that sort of thing, I would much prefer to take the page out and work on it like that. I would much prefer to do that because then I have room. I don't have to worry about messing up the book or worry about messing up the rest of the pages. I can move it around easier. I just much, much, much prefer to remove the page when I can. Unless, of course, like I said, if it's in um, a hardcover book, then of course I'll leave it in there. Or like my Johanna Bassfords, I leave those in there as well, but I do prefer to remove them. See, like this page, I'm not like crazy about. It's kind of cool. It, it makes me think of like a Native American theme, but I'm not crazy about it. But then, but then like this is gorgeous. It's Celtic. The, all the scroll work and the Celtic knots. So pretty. This is pretty. This is kind of Native American themed, but I like that. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love this book. So pretty. This could be like all jeweled with like bright jewel tones. Oh yeah, okay, so this is like Egyptian. That's cool. Oh, I like this. This reminds me of, um, I don't know if it's because of the planets, but it reminds me of Lisa Frank in a way. Did you guys love Lisa Frank? Lisa Frank was like the bomb growing up. I loved Lisa Frank. Oh, this is pretty. I like this one too. But I mean, just look at how small these details are. Quite honestly, I'll probably just color these or a lot of these with um, like my fine liner markers and just call it a day. I don't know how much detail into shading I'll get with this. Oh, that's that's cute. Look at the little horseshoes and the little fringes. That's cute. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, seashells. That's that's cool. It's a seahorse, ha ha ha. <laughs> Sorry guys, I am so lame. But you gotta have fun. Another one. Oh, this is pretty. I love, I love anything with the stars and the moon and planets and space. Oh, this is pretty. I think they're like a couple. Oh, that's pretty. Like a Hawaiian scene. Yep, so don't regret buying this book. So pretty. Oh, look at peacock feathers. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, okay, there you go. And that's like that paradise one colored in. That's kind of neat. Oh, and there's another one that they were showing, like, an example of a colored in. That's pretty. I'm obsessed with purple lately, so don't mind me. And that's probably part of the reason <laughs> why this book caught my attention in the first place, because of all the purple all over it. So I got that, which I'm super excited about. And then, literally, if you have kids, keep these in stock, because this is, like, a dollar Okay, and I'll take them out, you know, we'll, it'll be like a random night, nothing going on. I'll turn off all the lights, I'll put the music on, and we'll crack some glow sticks, and we have a glow stick dance party, the kids love it. And this is a dollar, a dollar. So I literally keep these in stock all the time. And then the other two things I got were on clearance. So I've been wanting to play around with um, black paper and doing and like playing a lot around with like gel pens my Caleros um just basically anything that you can color on black paper um so this was only a dollar 77 
But I, I liked, well, first of all, it's like the cutest little book. Make cool stuff. Um, and I like the gold. But I was thinking, like, I could rip these out and use them in my, um, my art journal. And just, like, do cool little designs and glue them in or... Or whatever so I got that because that was on clearance and then this was on clearance as well this was only three dollars and it's originally like so not clearance but it was on sale um so I was actually really excited because now I have 50 sheets of black paper I have no idea what I'm gonna do with all this black paper I don't but I really am excited because I really want to play around with black paper and just do some fun stuff with it so um actually let's see this is actually cardstock, so it's going to be pretty good quality for um, for painting and stuff on too, which I didn't even think about painting on it, but because this is cardstock, it should be able to handle the paint pretty well. So now I'm actually excited. I'm going to do some painting. I'm going to do some painting on black paper too. So let's see, this is, um, does it say... 65 pound I don't know so anyway I'll just let you get a feel for it there yeah that's that's gonna be fun I'm so excited I can't wait not that I needed to buy myself stuff so overall I spent on myself okay I did spend a little over ten dollars guys I lied because this was three this was six so that's nine and then boom, that's almost 10, but then <laughs> I got those two. So I think I spent like $13 on myself. Um, not bad for Michael's trip though, you have to admit, because Michael's kit is like devastating to my wallet, I'm telling you. I can't go in that store. Um, I've been literally driving by, it's right down the street from my husband's work and I work for him. Well, I go and visit him after work all the time and then... I work for him every Saturday and I literally have to drive by the plaza and pretend it's invisible and it doesn't exist. <laughs> it's so bad. But you guys know. You guys know. It's just the way it is. So anyway, thought maybe we could... I'll show you guys a little bit of my after shading in here and then just so I can make a little bit of progress for Sammy's hashtag. And then also I thought maybe, why not, we could pick... A new one and I'll show you how I started this process and I'll just do the same thing I'll use my um because you could use watercolors or like Dee Dee she'll use like a watered down um acrylic uh wash which I do want to try as well on one of these pages but uh, I don't have a lot of time so to take to color I mean so like when I have time to color it'll be like 20 minutes here and there so to take out paints and water and brushes and all that, it's like quite the setup. By the time I get set up and done, one of the kids needs something or something needs to be done or I have to go out and do something. So it was just convenient for me to just grab my markers and color in with my markers. Um, and honestly, I think it's coming out awesome. So actually, I'm not going to unclip those. I lied. So spin this around. I'll show you guys a little bit of what I'm doing um, on some of these detail pieces. And then, like I said, we'll go back and um, pick a new one to start a marker base on. So we'll work over here in this corner. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see my little zippy pouch, which I love. So we'll do the, we're going to do the yellow bits first. So I need these two. I'm going to sharpen them up. Okay, so make sure you can see. Okay, so oh, got some watermarks in there. I took the 
bad me. I went camping for a couple of days this last weekend for a family vacation, and I was like, I'm bringing my coloring stuff, even though that's a super bad idea. So, uh, and then it rained, so I'm sure this got dripped on inside the tent a little bit. Such a bad girl. Bringing serene, of all things, coloring. Um, camping. But honestly, if I don't just come equipped with coloring stuff, I I never know when I'm going to have the time. And as it is, I sat down at the picnic table Saturday planning on coloring and I was so tired. I would literally was falling asleep over, <laughs> over my coloring book at the picnic table. And I was like, okay, I can't color right now. I need to go lay down and take a nap. And that was that. That's That was the brunt of the coloring time I got camping anyway. It was about three minutes. So I'm just going in and I'm not pressing very hard. This is about a, a medium to light pressure. Basically, I'm just kind of shading, giving it a little bit of color. So now I'm going to go in with the um, Carmine Red. And I'm not going to go quite as high as I did with the orange. And the orange, that was pale vermilion, actually. Just giving it a little bit of interest and depth and a little bit of range of color in here. The darker parts, I'm going to color in with this. It's been so hard on the, there's so much black on this page. And if you see, the black isn't quite black. It's like a dark gray. It's been hard to decide, okay, what do I just color in really darkly with the color pencil and what do I actually make black with my, um, my, uh, Sakura brush pen. Now I can't, it's in there somewhere. It's in here somewhere. It's in there somewhere. I'll take it out in a minute. Um... So it's been really hard to decide like which way to go with some of this stuff. See like those edges seem really dark so I'm going to make them the orangey or the reddish orange color. So something else that me and my husband have been doing since we got home from camping. So we left on, it's been crazy. As you know, um, for those of you in America with me, we just had the 4th of July. So my company actually does a company-wide shutdown for the whole week of the 4th of July. No work for anybody. So I have off, I had off all last week. And then additionally, I'm taking this week off because I don't have daycare. So I'm at home with the with the kids this week anyway so I've actually had two weeks of vacation hence the reason why my boss is letting me work from home I'm just looking for my oh I already took my orange out where is it see too busy talking um <clears throat> so vacation has been crazy we I spent um let me see I spent two all day Tuesday and Wednesday prepping for camping Thursday for the 4th of July, we went, I live in Massachusetts, but we went up to Maine with some friends uh, to go swimming at the beach for the day. And then we went to, in Kittery, and then we went to Agunquit to watch some fireworks. So we were literally gone all day Thursday, came home Thursday night at like 12. It was really late. So we came home Thursday night and then we had to leave. <laughs> this is crazy. I can't believe we did this. Um, we left Friday morning to go camping. So Tuesday, Wednesday, I spent packing. Thursday, all day at the beach. Friday, we went camping. So we went up Friday. We were there all day Saturday. We came back Sunday, which was absolutely ridiculous for the amount of time it spent to set up I should have we should have booked the camping site longer and we camp in tents well not anymore <laughs> I'm done after this camping trip <laughs> told my husband keeps telling me that we need a camper or a trailer and I'm like no we're not glamping 
what are we? We're not a bunch of wusses. And I'm telling you, <laughs> I completely agree with them. Because the, we had, we spent a couple hours setting up all the tents and everything on Friday. So that was a good portion of the day gone. And then we spent um, pretty much all of Sunday morning packing up to leave. It was just... It almost wasn't worth it. I mean, it was fun. And I used to do it all the time as a kid. So it was, you know, it was just great. It was a good time. But at the same time, it's like, it wasn't long enough. But at the same time, it was long enough because I didn't really enjoy the whole tent thing as much as I used to. So I told my husband, I said, I agree with you. Next time, if we decide to go camping again, we are definitely doing it in a camper or something. Um... So that's been the craziness. And then, so we came back Sunday, and I literally spent um, Sunday and most of the day yesterday, because I actually w went in and worked for a half a day, um, spent most of the day yesterday after work <sighs> unpacking. <laughs> and I'm still doing stuff today. Like, it's crazy. So literally for... Like, a day's worth of camping, I've been, it's taken, like, a week's worth of time to do laundry, to get everything ready. I had to dig out all the sleeping bags and wash them all, and and now I'm washing them all again. <laughs> it's been crazy. But I do just love being outdoors, and that is, like, a huge stipulation and one of the reasons why we just haven't found the right house yet, um, even though we've been looking for a couple months. It has to have, like, a good yard with, a, like, a nice outdoors because we just like to spend a lot of time outside. And then I told my husband the very next thing we're going to get after house is a she shed. <laughs> because there's, I have three kids, so to find a house with all the bedroom space that we need... Plus, have extra room for me to have, my, like, my own coloring space. It's, like, ridiculously impossible right now, especially for the budget I'm working in. So, he, he said, realistically speaking, if I want a craft room, we're going to have to wait until the kids are older and they move out. And he's right. I You know, I can't be ridiculous in my expectations. So, I told him, I said, well, fine. Then I'm going to get a she shed and I'm going to make sure that it's, heated and air conditioned and I'm going to put my craft table in there and I'm going to put all my coloring stuff in there and that's where I'm going to color. I'm going to have a she shed coloring studio. <laughs> oh my goodness, he wants to kill me. <laughs> but really, it's going to happen. It's going to happen, people. Because I need my coloring space and it's a pain in the butt. I don't get to color as much as I want to because like I said, I have to dig everything out every time I want to do it. I can't just leave it out or in any type of way of accessible or else Miss Abigail wants to get into it or it's in everybody's way. I mean, right now I color in the dining room. So when it's time for dinner, I got to make sure all this stuff is put away so we can sit down and eat. So, but I will find a way. I will. Where there's a will, there's a way and there's definitely a will. Ugh, or Rachel. Ha <laughs> ha. That was another punny joke. If you guys hate my jokes and you can't stand listening to me, please just turn off the sound. <laughs> I know how ridiculous I can be. Um, so there you go. So, so that's what the orange looks like over there. So I still have to do, let me see what you guys can see. So over here on this corner, I pretty much did most of the um, orange and red this morning. So the only thing really that's left to do is uh, what's whatever's on her headdress for the orange.